for many organizations, actually, they've just started their hyper automation journey. Uh, and one of my roles at ISG is to, is to really start to think about the future. What does all this mean? What are the building blocks that we're laying at the moment? And where are they going to take us? And so I love nothing more than really thinking about the role of hyper automation and thinking you're three to five years out. And what I see is that intelligent automation, uh, you know, a group of technologies uh, that are taking actions, language, communications, uh, machine vision and machine learning together are really laying the building blocks for things like universal search. Imagine any piece of information in your organization, any meeting that you are having with your colleagues, emails between different teams, emails or customer contacts, calls with your customers, all being digitized, stored and searchable. The average person spends about 50 minutes a day searching for things. Imagine if you could reduce that 50 minutes down to just five minutes. And then imagine if all of that was accessible via your voice rather than even having to use your keyboard. And that's what hyper automation is really starting uh, to, to enable. And I, and I think three to five years out, they're the types of scenarios where everyone is gonna have an Alexa-esque uh, type experience, but very much in the workplace. And they, that is the building blocks that hyper automation right now and the individual capabilities of hyper automation are starting to, to enable. And so, you know, a really exciting time over the next three to five years as we move away from just trying to automate tasks and processes to fundamentally changing the way that we work.